Hi, I'm Miss Vu, and today we're going to look at angles of elevation and depression. Let's say I'm standing on top of a cliff and I'm looking at a ship that's far away. Now my line of vision with the horizontal line creates an angle of depression. Whereas if I'm looking at something like an aeroplane above the horizontal line, then this line forms an angle of elevation. Now be very careful that you're measuring with the horizontal line and not the vertical line. The vertical line does not form these angles and it's a common mistake. So remember, use a horizontal line to measure your angle of elevation and depression. Let's do a couple of examples. At a point 15 meters from the base of a tree, the angle of elevation of the treetop is 34 degrees. How tall is the tree to the nearest meter? Let's draw a diagram. So we have a tree and it says at a point 15 meters from the base. So the base is here. 15 meters would take us all the way there. The angle of elevation of the treetop. So treetop is up here, 34 degrees. Now 34 degrees is talking about the angle of elevation. So remember, we have to measure with the horizontal line and elevation would mean this angle over here. So not that angle over there, also because it's a vertical line. So how tall is the tree to the nearest meter? Now, if you've forgotten how to solve these type of trigonometric equations, click on the I in the corner and I'll take you to that video. So step number one, we label next to the angle, it's the adjacent and on the opposite, it's the opposite. Then we think, so ka toa, which of these matches opposite and adjacent? It is toa. So now we have tan of the angle, 34 is equal to opposite. Let's call that x over 15, adjacent. To get rid of the 15, we bring it over by multiplying. Now we put that in the calculator and we get x equals 10 meters. And it says nearest meter, so our answer should be 10 meters. The height of the tree is 10 meters. Always write the sentence out. Last example, copy it down, pause, and then unpause to see solutions. A lighthouse 75 meters tall is built on top of a cliff that is 200 meters high. Find the angle of depression of a ship from the top of the lighthouse if the ship is 1200 meters from the bottom of the cliff. Let's draw a diagram. So here we have the cliff, lighthouse, and let's put a ship here. Now it says that the lighthouse is 75 meters tall and the cliff is 200 meters high. So the whole distance, we have to add it together to get 275 meters. We have another number there, 1200, and it says ship is 1200 from the bottom of the cliff. So bottom of the cliff is here. So 1200 would be this line here. Now the question is asking for the angle of depression of a ship from the lighthouse. So the lighthouse here, so we're looking at the ship. So it's this line, but it wants the angle of depression. Remember, the angle of depression is from a horizontal line, so we must draw a horizontal line. And depression means going down. So it'll be this angle here. Never that little angle in the corner because that's with the vertical, always with a horizontal line. Now we notice that this angle, because these two lines are parallel, is the same as this angle over here because they're alternate angles. So essentially we're looking for that angle, but we can calculate using this angle. So again, this would be adjacent to this angle and that side would be opposite. We're going to use tan again. So tan of theta, the missing angle, will be opposite 275 over 1200. To get rid of tan on the left side, we find the inverse of the other side. Plug that into the calculator and we have theta equals 13 degrees. And always remember to write a full sentence answer. The angle of depression of the ship from the top of the lighthouse is 13 degrees. So from today, you have to remember that the angle of depression is the angle that's going down from the horizon. Our silly way to remember is think about moods. When you're feeling depressed, you're feeling down. Whereas when you're feeling elevated, your mood is up. And don't forget, always use the horizontal line for finding the angle. That's it for me today. Try these examples again and see if you get the same answers and I'll see you next time. Bye!